My interest in World War II began when I was nine years old. I was sifting through old family photographs when I stumbled on one of a young man in army uniform. Handwritten on the back of this aged black and white photograph was Italy, 1945. I quickly discovered this individual was my late great-grandfather, Gene Thurman Fancher. Being young, I had many questions regarding his service, but very few answers from my family. As it turned out, Gene shared no detail of his personal World War II experience prior to his early death in 1970. And so, because of the unknown, my curiosity in this momentous war began. I went online regularly and watched countless documentaries on the History Channel. I realized the severity of our Allied powers victory and knew us as a society were in great debt to these World War II veterans. However, I felt something was missing from these informative programs, and that is the first-hand accounts of our greatest generation. Now, don't get me wrong, people were interviewing these guys, but not to the quality they deserved and not with the passion I had. In short, I felt a calling to meet my heroes and capture their stories personally. However, I lacked necessary equipment at the time for a project such as this. So I began saving up, and by age 15, I had two Canon cameras and a microphone. I created a YouTube page under my name and designated my project, Andy Fancher Presents. <laughs> Very creative, I know. <laughs> One month into age 16, I interviewed my first World War II veteran. That was nearly two years ago. I am 18 now and have since then come a long way. My project has taken me from California to Florida, capturing some one-of-a-kind testimonies along the way. I've spoken with World War II veterans, as Mike said, from all walks of life, from all military branches, from all combat theaters. And a handful of these 90 plus year olds have become more than just my heroes. But family, they've invited me to book signings, birthday parties, routine lunches, car shows, and visits to the VA. Quite honestly, I cherish every minute of it. And in the summer of 2017, this time-sensitive mission caught a tremendous amount of publicity. As Mike also said, I have been featured on NBC5, Dallas Morning News, Fox 4, CBS 11, Southwest Now Magazine, LAC2, a French magazine in Paris, and most notably NBC Nightly News with Lester Holt. All of which are tremendous accomplishments on behalf of getting these stories told. My project has indeed picked up great speed, and I will continue to interview World War II veterans as they come along. Once an interview is complete, I always write a short article on the individual service and publish the finished product to my website, andyfancherpresents.com. And in addition to word articles, I occasionally spotlight a veteran by assembling a short video on his or her service. And I had brought along two of my completed features to give you an idea of my work, but sadly due to technical difficulties, I don't know if we will be playing those today. Up until this point, my entire project has been funded out of pocket through several part-time jobs. But this necessary work with our veterans takes a tremendous amount of time and money to accomplish. So I'm asking you, you know, please support, whether through a one-time or recurring donation, because every little bit helps me reach another service member, whether that is through gas, equipment, or the tremendous amount of time it takes to conduct an interview and publish online. And for any questions about donating, you can visit my website, andyfancherpresents.com, or come talk to me afterwards. But for now, I will continue okay. to do the best I can with everything I've got to preserve the fading stories of our greatest generation. Thank you.